Good afternoon, hello, my name is Daniel. This is a day of triathlon training. I need to be better. Over the last few weeks, I've had a hip niggle, which hasn't been the end of the world. I've still been able to ride and swim and do a little bit of running. But what it's done to me is, it's really thrown me mentally. I've been so unfocused on the training and really, like really easy and tempted to sack sessions off and eat rubbish and all those things. I find that I'm either all or nothing. I'm either training really well, eating really well, or training poorly and eating poorly. And those things shouldn't go hand in hand because when you're on the downside of that, things are very bad. I'm a good few kilos heavier than I was a couple months ago. I'm a lot less fit. I'm not panicking. I need to be better now. Tomorrow never comes, so now. So about today's Monday lunchtime. Just have a little lunchtime run. I'm gonna spread my running out this week, day on day off, so I can give my little niggle just a chance to recover. It is getting better, but last week I did it run it runs on two consecutive days and it just set me back. So hoping that this won't be the same this week. But yeah, I'll just start on screen from today's run. I'll see you tonight for a bike session. Come on. Okay, so it's tea time, and whenever Liz gets home, I do like a handover. I know you're part of the handover. Good evening, Elizabeth. Hi. You okay? Not bad, thank you. Well, not snoring on camera. We normally absolutely eat each other's faces when you get yeah. in there. <laughs> not. Right, Liz, first of all, I one package today. There you go. Oh, one second. Hello. One package delivered. Thank you. I've done bins and pots. He's not had a poo all day, but he's had one and a half pouches of meat. The chickens are just being chickens. Rupert is outside, the cat flap is locked. I've just had a cup of tea, sorry I didn't make you one. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed the heating on. I think that's about it. Cool. You ready for tonight's I'll group ride? I'll my cat then instead. Yeah. Ready for tonight's group ride? Yeah. Good, right. The heating has actually been on today. I woke up for about five o'clock for a wee this morning and the, the towel rail in the bathroom was hot. And I was like, damn it, I didn't check turn the thermostat down. But, there you go. And you know what? I knew that all along. Did you really? It's not the first time it's happened. What? Liz? No wonder we're broke. Oh, oh steady on. So when right. you were saying to me, we're not having the heat, I'm not having the heat, and I'm thinking, mate, it's already been on. <laughs> Liz! Well, as you tell me, whenever I nearly break something in the house, Liz says to me, if you do that, you'll be replacing it. Then she follows up with, with your own money. <laughs> so you'll be paying for that heating with your own money. Wow. Oh, anyway, Liz, tea time, then we get on this bike, can't we? Yeah, see so, ya. Yeah. Okay, so ride time. This is the session. Nice little walk and some activations over there. And then six times three minutes off of three minutes recovery. Well, quite hard. That's maybe five, ten percent of a threshold. So that's going to be fairly difficult to do, but not, not impossible. I don't know. Well, we'll find out, won't we? So six times three minutes. Let's go. Okay then, getting stuck into the warm-up, pre-interval activations is something that Coach Chris has got me doing. I've never really done them before, but it makes sense. And that's made up of three rounds of 40 seconds, low cadence, at a decent tempo. So my RPM should be about 75, but I only got it down to about 18, honestly. And then 20 seconds at higher power, so 425 watts at a higher RPM, so 105 RPM. I didn't really nail the cadences, to be honest, but it's better than nothing. It's something I'm going to work on. This is the first three-minute interval. The intervals were as follows. Now, I, I felt pretty bad in the first couple, but then as I got into the intervals, I felt better and better. So it just reiterates to me that you have to keep pressing on. When you don't feel good initially, just sort of stick with it, and it will probably, maybe not always, but most of the time, come around in the end. So the first interval was 380, the second was 383, the third was 382, the fourth was 382, the fifth was 384, and the sixth was 385. I don't use erg mode. I've got it built onto my legs. I'm quite happy with that. It felt better as I went through the session. I felt like I could have done longer intervals or nudged the power up a little bit, but maybe that's how you're supposed to finish most training sessions, feeling like you could have done a little bit more. So I was happy with that. And I like these intervals that aren't too long. Nice one. All right then, I know I'm not in the garage anymore. I'll explain in a minute. That session was good. I felt tired in the warm up. Like my legs were getting really lactic -y. I felt like my bib shorts were a bit too tight and I pulled them a bit, like stretched them out a little bit. I don't know if that was a thing or not, but once I got through the second interval, it felt loads better. Like I could control the power more. It was hard, but I felt like I could have done four or five minutes each time at that power. I'll put the stats on screen now. I don't know what they are, but if I was to estimate, I would say they were pretty much all 
bang on around 380. Now I've said that, they probably won't be, will they? But that's how what it felt like. I felt like I controlled it well. I don't use erg mode on the turbo, so it's hard to get it exactly on, but it does better replicate how I ride on the road, obviously using gears. And then we went on to the social ride. That was awesome. Thank you to everybody who tuned in, either on the live stream or joined on Zwift. Either way, it was really good. I'm definitely going to keep doing more of that. There will be one every Monday for the foreseeable future. And then thank you to Liz for having tea ready for as soon as I got off that bike then. I wolfed some food down me, had a quick shower. I've just been for a swim. It's my first proper swim in about three weeks. So I wasn't expecting much and there wasn't much there, which is fine. I've done like three hours of training today, so I know I'm not going to feel the freshest as well. But I just did 1K just for the pool boy in, just nice and steady. Broke the ice, I feel like, you know, with getting back to the pool. And now I can just build upon this and get yeah, push on and do more and more. It's the plan. So I'll hopefully be back here. Well, I will be back here. We'll be back here this week because I'm being better. And I'm going to build upon that over the next few weeks and potentially go back and see Chris for some one to one assessment before Christmas if life will allow I think so yeah there we go good day's training my hip is not great in honesty but I'm going to have a running rest day tomorrow and see how it goes the rest of the week but at the very least I know I can keep doing some cycling so I'm not going to panic just yet thank you very much for the support knowing people watch these videos is so motivational I'm hoping it's motivating you along in your winter training as well if you're winter training now hit subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock see you later